I wonder what it cheese that it's feeding on, eh? Look at the crocodile getting closer. No, the crocodile wants the meat there. I think the crocodile is moving back, eh? Um, it looks like an impala. It still has horns, yes. Just look at the horns. Can you see the horns? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. A young impala. Pink yeah. Yeah, because it has, it's like it's chewing that thing. Uh, not always. They, they are opportunistic. Want to walk out with that that kill? Hey, you guys going for the crop? <laughs> So that kind of a competition, um, it's an interspecific competition in a sense that they are not of the same species, but they're actually competing for the for for one source of food, which at this point is an impala that they are competing for. Breaking its branch, its its bones, and it definitely wants to eat it. If you look at the, yeah, because it doesn't the, really have teeth to. to yeah, it doesn't have the the right set of teeth to actually feed on it, but it is it is trying to. It's like when you're trying to make mash. You have yeah. to squash everything. Yeah, probably.
but I haven't seen it in a very long time. So, why is it only this one eating? So others he is dominant. He is dominant. He's so a dominant like boy. If, if they had to, if you look on to the others which are actually showing interest, they're way younger than him. Mm -hmm. So it's like a young one and a female probably trying to negotiate. Are you willing to share? Mm -hmm. and, and the others are bulls. If they had to go inside there, they'll probably be, okay, you, you stay back. Is it because it's maybe just dry and there's not like a lot of food? No, there? not really. Hmm. Sometimes they do lack of a bit of protein in their product diet. Hmm. Uh, an opportunity comes there. Normally you see people. And now two of them, eh? Mm -hmm. Do you see 
seen that impala just died. That impala, there is a high chance that a crocodile caught it, okay. and and the hippo took it from a crocodile. There is a high chance that the crocodile took it underwater because it needs to, to to actually drown it into the water and keep it under the water and it actually gets chunks as well so a croc wouldn't have also managed to kill that whole th feed on that whole thing at once it had to take it down and then i think that's where the hippo found it maybe in one of the deeper pools this fleshed all the crocodiles and took it away just. and they're now coming to re actually renegotiate their own kill yeah. Look at the eye of the impala, you can still see even the eye on the head, eh? Look at now it's got all of the guts inside, mm -hmm. the intestines, one of the hind feet is also gone. It's actually tried to chew all of the meat and not really swallow it and he's still grinding the actual impala. Yeah. It's quite interesting. Look at the chunks of the impala floating on top of the water. Mm. The small pieces of meat. Because he keeps on grinding it and he's not getting much into his mouth. And it's just like the small pieces floating on top of the water. Yeah. Did you hear that bone? Yeah. So for the hippo, they just swallow first, swallow the food first and digest later. So, so they were, so they they are actually what we call four guard fermenters. Mm -hmm. 
the animals which actually swallow first and, yes. and chew later, is, they are called ruminants. Yes. So rip, hippo has three chambers of stomach, although the third one is actually not being used. It is of, it's not being used at the moment. It has evolved not to be able to use it. So they, they chew their food. Oh. Oh. They do chew their grass um, and, and then they swallow. So they do not regurgitate their food and, and, and solo back. Maybe someone can help. <laughs> Some other brothers can help. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's also tired of just yeah, yeah. chewing it like that, isn't it? Yeah, now he's oh. shaking it up and down to oh, actually pull right out now. a chunk. He's it. Is it heavy? But see how he actually throws that thing. He actually aims to throw it up a bit and pull it inside. Mm. He's not really able to pull that meat using his tongue. So this meat is sort of like stuck on his. Um, oh, look at that croc! Look at the croc! Oh, croc got something as well. Okay, so now they're coming. They see that the hippo is tired. And the hippo now is actually very tired of fighting back. He just keeps on looking at them. Okay, now that they know that he's tired, they're not going to let him be, hey? Okay, that's a good kiss. 